Now, you know how it is on a night out. You see a man that you fancy. You're waiting forever for them to make the first move. Well, apparently scientists have now proven that men never make the first move as they're always responding to signals we, us ladies, are giving to them. Oh. Whether we know or not, there's lots of ladies and yes, you're agreeing with that. <laughs> so do women always make the first move? And do we make the first move without the men actually knowing it? Mm. You're agreeing. There's lots of nods, lots of nods. Do you well, think so? I I I think that is probably correct. Whether although I was trying to I was trying to decide if I made the first move or Rob made the first move. But it was a blind date and we'd never met each other or spoken on the phone before. So I wasn't sure. But I guess by me giving my number or allowing my number to be yes. given. Yes. That, that was the, a signal. That was a signal. signal going, yes. That's the signal. That's the signal, right? Yeah. So he texted me first, but I I was an open, willing person. Yes. I was receptive. I <laughs> to was the receptive. Signal. So I guess <laughs> I made the first move. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like um, when I first met Shane, me and my sister were in this um, cafe having a cup of tea. Rock and, and roll. And <laughs> we've always been rock and roll. <laughs> I love that you're wearing matching outfits. Yeah. Can we just talk about Your that. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell did they get that picture from? <laughs> Anyway. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I first met Shane and we were canteen, me and my sister, and Shane came in to ask directions about someone. Uh, he was looking for someone and he said, oh, have you seen such and such? And we went, oh, yeah, we think he's in the bar area. And he walked away and my sister said, who's that? And I said, I don't know, but grab your tea because we're following him. <laughs> the whole tray of tea into the bar. So everyone's drinking me and her like that. Hi. <laughs> so I you... guess I made the first No, but move. have you thought about the fact that maybe he did spot you first yeah, and that he, he came, came into you yeah. in the canteen? No. <laughs> maybe it was your red hair. It might have been my red, very, your very flame firm red hair. hair. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, it I was... thought I looked good when yeah, I no, exactly. wore that. No, no, yeah. I like the colour. That's my All natural right, get it off the screen now. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Just an extension of you know when you want your other half to do something and you have to kind of make them think it was their idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's like an extension of that. But to be honest, it's a miracle that I'm married or have children because apparently I just exude hostility <laughs> the whole time. I'm very, very. I'm just. I've said before on the show, I cannot flirt. So even if I really like somebody, I, I'm just sort of like this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just yeah, can't. I could go to classes or whatever. Yeah, but they have to be really confident alpha males to sort of penetrate that steely. Right. And they've got to have the time to work through it, obviously. Yeah. Is that, it, yeah. It takes I don't a bit know. Of time I don't know. But anyway, I mean, it's immaterial now because I'm. Very happy. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. What about you and Frank? Well, we we met at the Pride of Britain Awards that is on the telly, and um, we have very different versions of this story. My <laughs> one's the truth, and he <laughs> was on a table over there, and I was on a different table, and we we did sort of definitely look at each other. He was with friends of mine, and I sort of remember looking over at my mates, and then he was there, and there was this bit of an eye contact thing. But you know uh, when you're watching yeah. the stage, and the, I, when you're aware that someone's sort of glancing at you, and you're like, oh. That's interesting. <laughs> and then it wasn't until afterwards, we were all going for a drink afterwards, and he came up and started to talk then. Um, and then he got my number, and the, I was in the cab on the way home, and he phoned me that night, oh. and that was it. And then he went away to play with England for a couple of weeks. Like you do. Like you do. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, no, but it was really, really good, you know. But what the hell's that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, who's in that? Is he in the reflection? Look, where did they get these pictures? So that's Have you. you gone to the worst pictures you can find <laughs> of people on the telly. And that is you leaving the Pride of Britain award. No, 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 it actually wasn't me leaving the Pride of Britain awards. I was leaving that? a bar about uh, six weeks after. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell? But yes, it's reflection. And there he is. The ghostly figure of the orange in the background. Anyway, yeah, oh, he would tell a different version of that, but he, I think he gave me the signals first. Well, you gave him so. your number. Well, yeah. technically, you're on the But you know way, when you yes. said you were aware that he was glancing? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. because you're aware of him. Absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I do agree with that. So going back to our ladies in the audience, maybe there is something in it yeah. after yeah. all.